How's it going everyone? My name is Brandon Bueno with Players Bookkeeping and today I'm going to be going over the importance of reconciling your bank accounts. Now at the end of each month you look at the statement your bank sends you and to see if it agrees with the record you keep in your checkbook register, right? This way you can see if the amount you think you have in your checkbook is accurate. On the top of your page you'll find a small icon that says banking. Go ahead and click it and choose reconcile or you can choose the tab called Reconcile on your home page. So let's go ahead and click that. All right, so the next step is to make sure that you match your statement date on the bank statement along with your beginning balance. Once that you've made sure that it matches, go ahead and put the ending balance which shows on your bank statement. You also have the option of putting in a service charge or interest earned, whether or not it's showing on your bank statement currently. Once that is completed, go ahead and hit continue. Alright, so after you hit continue, it brings you to this new window where it shows you all of your payments and all of your deposits. So let me go ahead and show you how to reconcile. So on your left hand side, you'll have your checks and your payments. And on your right, you'll have your deposits and other credits. Very important to remember this. Now, as you can see, all of them have been unchecked. What you want to do is you want to hit mark all. And once you've done that, on your bottom right, you want to go over here to make sure that your ending balance matches your clear balance. If you're unable to reconcile the first time, I recommend that you check the difference. Now normally when the ending balance matches the clear balance, the difference will always be zero and then you can reconcile. However, if it does not appear zero, then you have a problem. Now a few problems that I've encountered while I was learning how to reconcile in QuickBooks is that I would either key in the transaction more than once or, it, or I would key in uh, the wrong amount for that transaction or I completely forgot to put in the transaction while I was going through the bank statement. Now this can happen to anyone so don't feel stupid if you if this happens. Now the best thing to do is to go back and make sure that you fix the problem so when you do the difference will be zero. Once it is zero go ahead and hit reconcile now. Once that is completed go ahead and hit closed and now you've successively reconciled your bank account. Alright, so I really hope that you found this video to be very helpful and educational. If you have any questions regarding reconciliation, feel free to leave a comment below. And thank you guys for watching.